Well, here we have the Kalamondan orange, and the growth is really nice on it. It's a very vigorous plant. And this I used Epsom salts on, as well as dolomite and uh, bone meal on these plants here. So here we've got the uh, Coxhill grapefruit, all new growth, really shiny. And almost on every branch we have new growth. So it's doing quite well in the window here. This one will eventually go outside, but I do have to finish the greenhouse expansion before I get these four plants out there. Now here's a good surprise. This is a, originally a Meyer lemon on a flying dragon rootstock. It's quite tall. And what we have over here, this really large sprig up here, is the cocktail grapefruit graft. And I'll show you the graft line. It's right here. If you can see that right there. Let me see it from here better. Okay, right there. You can see there's a divide, a line right on the branch. And that's where the branch was grafted on. So that was a slant graft. Now, I didn't realize it, but I saw these big leaves growing. And a little bit yellow, but they're growing out of this branch here. And you'll notice that the type of wood is different. So here is the Meyer lemon side here. And then here is where the graft was. And it's a, quite a crude graft if you look at it. It's quite crude, but it took. And what I think this is, is I think this is a kaffir lime that I added many, many years ago. So this kaffir lime arm is here, quite a scraggly arm. I should probably cut it back or maybe um, marcot it here, put on a bag with some soil and root this. But it's attached to the mire, and the mire is producing. We've got a lemon over here, right here. And then we have more there, and then more over there. So those are the lemons. And then the uh, cocktail grapefruit branch will be ripening probably in about four months. Now here's our big cocktail grapefruit. This is quite a large plant. And this has a graft right down here, which took on the yuzu tree. So this is yuzu with a flying dragon rootstock. And this yuzu refuses to grow leaves. It has its one leaf, but that's the last of the yuzu. And the graft was right here, I guess, on this branch. And they can't even see the graft, really. It's healed so much, and it's quite a large branch as you can see it's as thick as a finger and it's on an elbow so it's, they used to build trees like this for boats actually to support boats and they would use this angle this right angle to uh, make a beam or something like that out of quite an interesting fact and this tree is fruiting so we have a big fruit there and then we have another fruit there same size about golf ball size. They'll be about four inches when they're ripe. And then we have these new branches here coming off the side here as well. And then this is grapefruit as well, this branch. The yuzu is limited to this one little end leaf here on the branch, which I hope to one day mark hot and uh, start a rooting system on that little tidbit of a branch to save the yuzu tree and then grow another yuzu. From that. So this is the uh, living room breakdown and then this is the Kishu Mandarin number two and it's doing quite well it has new growth on it as well and uh, hoping it will flower this year with the other one this will go in the greenhouse for sure and then my starter plants in the corner here so that's the uh, four I guess five citrus still in the living room None of them are really flowering, but that one cocktail grapefruit. And uh, these LED lights, they produce a lot of heat. They're melting through the actual cover of the uh, light there. So I don't, I'm not using that. Those drips of uh, plastic would be very, very hot. And uh, most of them are uncovered like that. 
or single LEDs like that. So have a good day guys and uh, I'll talk to you.